After you've read the question, be sure you understand it. This one asks us to draw the Lewis structures for two molecules, showing all the non-bonding electrons, and then determine which has delocalized bonding and which obeys the octet rule. The plan for this question is similar to other Lewis structure-based questions. Find the number of valence electrons for each molecule, draw the structures, being sure to include all electrons, and locate any formal charges. Then answer any additional questions. Let's solve this question. NO2 has two oxygen atoms with six electrons each for a total of 12 and one nitrogen atom with five electrons. So this molecule has 17 valence electrons. NO2 minus is the same, except it has a negative charge which counts for one extra electron for a total of 18. Now draw the Lewis structures. Connect the atoms, then use the remaining 13 electrons to fill as many octets as you can. The nitrogen atom is still three electrons short of an octet. The oxygen atoms will have to share some of their electrons, but since there's an odd number of electrons, we can't give the nitrogen a perfect octet. It will either have one more than an octet or one less. If we gave it one less, nitrogen would have a formal charge of plus one, and since we know the molecule is neutral, we'll have to draw the structure with one extra electron. There is no way to make this structure obey the octet rule. Let's move on to the second structure. Connect the atoms and use the remaining electrons to fill up whatever octets you can. The nitrogen atom is two electrons short of its octet, so one of the oxygen atoms will have to donate an electron pair. There, now all the octets are filled. This structure does obey the octet rule. Now check for formal charges. The oxygen atom on the right has seven electrons surrounding it, so it needs a negative charge. Looking closely at the molecule, you should notice that either oxygen atom could have donated a lone pair, so we could draw another resonance structure. This means that there's delocalized bonding present. So to completely answer the question, we should indicate that the second structure obeys the octet rule and has delocalized bonding. While we were drawing the first structure, we determined that it did not follow the octet rule, but before we move on to the next question, we should also check to make sure it has no delocalized bonding. Try to move one of the double bonds or lone pairs in that molecule to get a new resonance structure. You'll find that there is no way to move any of the electron pairs without changing the overall charge of the molecule. Since all resonance structures must have the same overall charge, there can be no resonance structures or delocalization here. Make sure you didn't forget to draw in any electrons or formal charges, and you're done.